Well, there's, I've got many metronomes here. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. So I'm using, rhythmic, yeah. Yeah, I'm using two metronomes. One's, one's playing like 13 against 7, <laughs> and then the other one's uh, the other one's just playing chord notes because they're both at 120.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, you can almost hear me. Hi, everybody hear me? Welcome to uh, the April 10th edition of Live at the Whiskey Lounge. My name is Steve Rashid. Uh, welcome to you all. I see uh, several faces I've seen here several times previous, so I'm very grateful for your support of live music here in Evanston. And for those of you who are with us for the first time, thanks very, very much. Uh, this is a series, if you don't know, that runs every Thursday. Uh, and it's something a little different every week. It's jazz-based, uh, and this week is no exception. You're going to hear two absolute master improviser is just kind of making stuff up. You're going to, I mean, in the absolute literal sense, they'll be building things. It looks like a shop project behind me here. Um, I can't, I cannot uh, wait for this. This is, this is really great. Um, John Mulder and Paul Wertico. Uh You will hear plenty from them. Uh, I'm not going to spend much time up here, but I do want to take just a minute and tell you a couple things. One is uh, about what's happening coming up. We have uh, a great series um, I'm the host. I'm a, I am an occasional performer as well here. Next week, I will be here with uh, a, a brilliant uh, vibes player, Ken Hall. I play keyboard and I sing. Uh, I'll be here with Ken Hall, who is a wonderful vibes player, and Stuart Miller, who is a great bassist. Uh, so we'll be here next Thursday. The week after that is Don Stiernberg and his trio, which will be uh, string jazz. Um, and then into May and June, we've got some really exciting acts um, that uh, I won't tell you all that now because you won't remember anyway. But... Uh, um, anyway, please, yeah, there, there are these little uh, cards on your table that give you the next couple weeks, and then uh, next week we'll have a new card for all the new acts that are coming in as well. So please feel free to take those with you. Um, your physical presence here helps support this. So we please, uh, we thank you for being here, and please spread the word to your friends and other jazz fans that may want to be here. Um, and uh, because it's because, that you, because you are here that we are able to do this. If there is a week that you cannot make it, and I understand that happens sometimes, um, you should know that we do, uh, as part of this series, we do a live multi-track recording, like a studio quality recording of every performance here. Uh, and there are, you can barely see them, but there's three cameras hidden around the room here. In case you're here with somebody you shouldn't be. <laughs> uh, but there are three cameras around the room and we are doing live streaming. So every show is streamed live to the internet and you can... <laughs> the performers are aware of this, yes, yeah. So there's live streaming to the internet of every single show, um, and uh, so you can, uh, you can watch it online if you cannot make it. Um, and please you know, spread the word to those people, uh, friends of yours who are not in the area. Um, thank you so much for your kind attention. As soon as the lights dim, boy, it got quiet as a whisper in here, which is great. We really do appreciate your, uh, your attention here. Um, and uh, without further ado, let me introduce John Mulder and Paul Wertico. He'll be here, uh, John on guitar, Paul on everything. I'm going to let them uh, describe some of what they're doing as they do it. Um, but then I will be back a little bit later, and we'll talk a little bit with, with, uh, with, with the two fellows and uh, invite, uh, invite you all to ask questions as well. Take it away, guys. Yeah. Hi everyone. Are we on? There we are. Okay. So, thanks for coming to hear us play. Um, John, I just want to give you a little bit of background about like what's going on here. Um, you guys remember the Steve and Johnny show on WGN Radio? Anybody remember that? Oh, that's good. It was only out for 25 years, so. <laughs> So you just missed it. <laughs> anyway, they, they had a show on WGN Radio. It was, what, 720, I think. And uh, it would go on around, oh, around 11 o'clock at night oh, to yeah. about 4 a.m. That's probably, you guys were all sleeping, like all good citizens <laughs> of the United States. Right. And um, so anyway, we got called up to play there one time. Uh, they always had, like, great music. I mean, Howard Levy and all these people would go up and just basically play for free. So one time, John and I, we went up, and I just brought a pair of brushes, and John brought a guitar, and um, I played the table, and you know they yeah, mic the table, guitar, yeah. and you played directly yeah, into the into, into the board, system, yeah. and then we played a couple standards, and then we played like a free thing, 
and they put it on online. It was actually up on the internet for about oh three years. I don't yeah. know if they still have the show anymore or whatever. It's not yeah. up online, right. but. Once we did that, it sounded so cool. It was like, wow, you know, I'm not going to bring drums. I'm going to bring a table. It's yeah. easier, <laughs> easier to schlep. And so we were thinking this would be a great thing to even do like an LP or a CD of this yeah. kind of music. Just, you know, just standards of just, you know, soft music as opposed to, you know, blasting it out like we normally do. <laughs> so that's, you know, when Steve asked us to do this, actually John... Yeah. was asked by Steve yeah. and then yeah. John asked me. Yeah. It was like, yeah, what a cool idea. So, you know, uh, yeah. you, you want to talk? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, and I think I've, is this, yeah, this is also working. But, um, you know, the cool thing about uh, Steve and Johnny, I mean, we were, um, we were there, and it, it actually, I don't know if we were actually certain we were going to play. I mean, Paul was on the show because he had just become director of jazz studies at Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. I was, like, promoting a, a Chi-Town Jazz Festival, which was rather new at that point in time. So we're talking. It was just, it was, it was so fun, and it was just so laid back. They're, they're, they're a delightful couple, and it's very natural just kind of being around with them. So we're just, you know, it's like midnight, you know, <laughs> one in the morning. We're just, you know, we just kept gabbing and gabbing. They'd go to the news and come back, and then, um, and then we played, and they captured it on video, um, and it seemed so simple. We're like, wow, I never thought of that. You know, like this would be a really cool thing to do. And when Steve approached me about it, his uh, palpable enthusiasm really kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, was was so great. So, uh, and he, you know, has gone all the extra mile to, you know, to mic the FedEx, uh, you know, little containers here and all sorts of other things to make sure it all came out right. So we hope you enjoy it too. This is a treat for us and we're just really grateful you're here. So come along with the journey with us. We aren't sure exactly where it's gonna go, but uh, we're sure glad you're here. All right, so. Uh,
How's the sound out there, everybody? Yeah, yeah balance is all right? Yeah? Cool. Yeah, that's not that great.
I guess now we can do um, what we might say is like one of our old favorites that we've uh, recorded on Steve and Johnny, so we can see one of our hits. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Actually, not really, but <clears throat> made by uh, John Coltrane. So um, we, we did Giant Steps as a waltz, uh, the two of us, so I think we're going to give them another whirl. So hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I hope FedEx takes endorsements. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Endorse yeah. other drum companies, but these guys, they would be yeah, they'll, they'll send as many packages as they want. <laughs> right. Except they'll be empty. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but that'll do it. <coughs> Get charged 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, so...
So part of the iPhone, iPad thing is that's fun is they get some really weird stuff. And of course we find this. This is a thing called a B-Bot. This guy looks like this. And he can play anything, as many fingers as you want. <laughs> Crash them.
Questions for us?
Okay, so we couldn't resist to uh, do something for the Whiskey Lounge. How about it for this series, right? <laughs> Isn't this the coolest thing? So, I don't know what we're gonna call this. We could, the Ode to Whiskey Lounge. It doesn't sound kind of, I don't know if it really. Anyway, here goes.
requests? <laughs> oh, watch out. <laughs> Say what? Very expensive.
thanks. Because <laughs> I know you can go faster than I can. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three.
<laughs> I think we're done. Sure, man. <laughs> could... Where'd he go after this? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> How about it, folks? Oh, thanks, guys. Paul Wertico and John Mulder. Incredible. I was I was going to ask Paul uh, what tune, what key he does, um, uh, all the things you are in, and he would have said mouse pad. <laughs> uh, these guys are obviously at the very top of uh, of their craft and uh, incredible, incredible musicians. We are very, very grateful to have them here. Um, I'm, uh, there was a great episode of uh, Leave it to Beaver when uh, Eddie Haskell is sitting in the Cleaver's kitchen and I don't remember anything about the episode except that he has a tune going through his head, he starts, he starts drumming on the table and they're going, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie! <laughs> he won't stop. And I gotta believe that in your household you probably were that guy, right? Where you just... <laughs> Just such, such artful playing. I've never had a guy strike a Tanqueray bottle and bring tears to my eyes before. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. It was really something. In fact, a couple days ago, I was talking to John on the phone, and I was asking him about, uh, uh, you know, what, 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 how, how I was going to mic this. What, you know, what exactly, what, what, what you're going to bring. And John said, well, I have this idea for autumn leaves, and I, I needed something in B and E, so I found a bowl. That, and that's a B, and then the, the E, I found a Tanqueray bottle. And I said, that's great, I love Tanqueray. And he said, we can't drink it, it'll change the pitch. <laughs> Which is absolutely true. So, but now we can. Now we can drink the Tanqueray, so. <laughs> and John, not only is this incredible guitarist, he also, he just this year, or no, it's been for a couple of years, the Chi-Town Jazz Festival, oh, yeah. yes? Yeah. How many years has that been, John? Uh, it's five. Five years, the Chi-Town Jazz Festival. <laughs> If you don't know about it, John started this festival, and uh, uh, he is uh, the sweetest guy in the world and gets um, a lot of uh, venues in the city to donate their space and musicians to donate their time, uh, and they do concerts, and they raise money for hunger relief in Chicago. And um, is there anything else that you can tell us about that? Uh, just it's usually every March, and uh, to keep posted, you can just go to ChitownJazzFestival.org and uh, get more information on it. But it's a lot of fun. And this year we raised, um, I think, $43,000. Wow. So, so $43,000. Wow. Yeah. Well, we are thrilled to have these two incredible artists with us. And uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, and, uh, and please come back. Maybe we'll have these guys back if they'd be so. If they would like to come back, we would love to have them back. Um, and there's a great variety of things. We've got gypsy jazz coming up. We've got jazz from the 1920s coming up. We've got a great Brazilian group coming up. The great Judy Roberts will be here to visit us. Um, next week, I will be here with a, with a great vibes player and bass player. The following week, Don Sternberg trio. So there's wonderful stuff coming up every Thursday. Um, follow us on follow me on Facebook if you want. I post stuff about it all the time. Um, I have a sheet of paper. I'm happy to take your email if you want me to keep you on my email list. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. And thanks to these incredible, incredible guys. <laughs>